if we had a group of politicians, if we had a group of educators, if we had a group of, of employers, and we asked them all the same question about the economy, most of them would probably say that they're probably not happy where the economy is today. And that's not something that has just happened over the last four years. If you look at the economy, um, and we kind of go back to 2008, 2009, when we had the financial crisis, um, our economy, the actual unemployment rate went up to about 10%. That was the highest that has been since 1982. What I began to see is that there was a series of bankruptcies, and there were some bailouts that were happening during that particular time frame. But bailouts are not a new concept. I was reading a book and it's called The Creature from Jekyll Island, a really, really good read. And it talks about the Federal Reserve System. But what it also talks about is the series of, bank, um, the series of bailouts that have occurred in this particular country. So as I begin to think about that whole concept, I begin to think about the start of you economy. And I begin to think about what has kind of changed in our economy. What are some of the things that we're doing differently today that we have to kind of think about? And so if you begin to look back at that time frame, what began to happen is that people began to lose confidence and faith in big government. They began to lose confidence and faith in large corporations. And they wanted to reduce their dependency upon an industrialized society that really had outsourced um, everything except creativity and innovation. And so now we're starting to look at you know, we're starting to look at companies like Apple. We're starting to look at companies like Google, Facebook, that are, that are really understanding how do you survive, how do you operate in a digital economy. And they're creating this new blueprint. But at some point in time, there were actually startups. And those particular companies were doing something radically different. And so now, one of the things that we actually see, if we think about our economy, that there's this small sector in the economy, it's called the startup economy. And according to a report that is done by the Kauffman Foundation, 100% of the net job growth is coming from small business. Businesses that have been in existence one to three years. And so my question was, what is happening in this particular sector of the economy that we could apply to other sectors, that we could apply to other business verticals? or even more, what we could even apply to our own self and begin to think about how we can operate differently.